every single one of my teeth. Eye candy, that is why I used to be a princess. Where am I? It says I'm live and I don't see myself. Hold on. Ah, what's happening? I'm so sorry, guys. Where am I? This is ridiculous. It says I'm live and I What is happening? Where's my picture? Ah! Um, I don't know if anybody's here, but if you are, hello. Oh, now I just made it go away. Um, oh, what, did I click this by accident? I think I clicked that by accident. There we go. All right, sorry about that. I apparently accidentally clicked the button for like no picture, um, but I am here. Hello, hi, how are you? How is your day going? My day is going great because it's Friday and I made chili for the first time, like my own chili. I mean, it was my first time making chili, period. But um, yeah, it was delicious and it finished, it got done cooking like later than I expected. So I just basically inhaled a bowl of chili that was delicious. So without further ado, without further ado, we got a new owl crate. Also, I moved, um, I talked about this last month. Last month was like, the day before or a couple days before I was moving. Um, and so now I have moved. So I'm not sure where we're gonna keep doing these um, unboxings and stuff, but for now, we're gonna do it right here because this recliner is comfy. Um, yeah, so all crates for the month of May, 2019. Uh, the theme this month, only because I just saw it, is Epic Adventures. And I kind of remembered it because it's really exciting to me. Ow. Sorry, it's tight and my fingers have been really hurting for the past month. So, all right, here we go. Ready? Card fell out. All right, I'm not going to look too closely. Ooh, I'm so excited about that. I don't even know what it is fully and I'm super excited about it. All right, so, oh, this is pretty. Oh, we got a cute girl who looks a little afraid, but she's got a cool, um, it's not a sword, it's not a dagger. What do you call a sword on a stick? That thing. It's on a stick. Soldiers use them. Bayonet? I guess. No, because isn't that? That's at the end of the rifle, right? I don't know. What is that weapon called, Internet? Help me out here. But this is really cool. I like it. I like her whole color scheme, too. Like, that's, that's just kind of great. All right. So there's the card. I didn't grab something to put the worms in, but that's okay. So the first thing on top of here. I'm wondering, yeah, it's a passport wallet. It says, I'm going on an adventure in this really cute thing. And let's see, open it up. So it's got a pocket right here. And then you zipper it open. Oh, this is nice. It's got two like card pockets here and a larger pocket here. And then it's also got a zip pocket over on this side. This is really great. Um, and it says that it's water resistant, it's lightweight and compact, and it prevents RFID identity theft. I really like this. And here's one of my biggest reasons for liking this is it's totally <coughs> it's totally usable for non-passport things. Like most passport holders, you can only use them for your passport and like travel document stuff. This you could do other things in it. And so I'm really liking that. Like this could be a first aid kit. Um, it could like hold a small notebook and pens and stuff. Like this is really, really cool. Great job, Owl Crate. This is an exclusive Owl Crate um, design thing with, oh no, sorry, it's an Owl Crate exclusive, but it was designed by Kit Kronk Studio. Um, their handle is Kitster Kronk. Let me show it to you because I wouldn't know how to use it right there. Kitster Kronk. I'm so, like this is already, Winning me over. All right, let's start with this fabric thing. <gasps> it's an eye mask. Oh, it's a nice one. To the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. I believe this is a throne of glass. I don't know if it's the first book or if it's the somewhere in the series, but I'm pretty sure it's throne of glass. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm actually finally getting to the series. I am rereading throne of glass right now. Um, so that I can continue on in the series. But this is nice quality. It's super soft, satiny. 
Um, and then you got the stretchy band. This is nice. I don't even usually use an eye mask and I'm gonna use this one. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, what do I go for first? Let's go for the box. There's a box and then there's like a folded fabric -y thing. We're gonna go for the box. It's a cute little box. Oh, I'm not gonna read the, the spoiler. I wanna see what it is and then we'll read it. Oh, is it a water bottle? Oh, it's a nice bottle. Ooh. Oh, it's a glass bottle. Without our stories, we are incomplete. Look how nice. And it's quality. It's got the owl logo on top. It's got a nice seal. Oh, this is so cute. I was just thinking this morning, I wanted to bring orange juice. Like I, I got up late and didn't have time for breakfast. So I was going to bring something with me. I didn't have anything like travel friendly. So maybe I'm going to use that. Uh, there was once a young man who wished to gain his heart's desire. Neil Gaiman. Gaiman? Gaiman. Seeking fallen stars beyond the wall. Don't forget to take your exclusive Starbust and Stardust inspired water bottle with you on your journey. Designed with love by KDP Letters. It is dishwasher safe. Yes. Uh, do not put in microwave or use with hot liquids, which is fine because I don't drink coffee or tea, really. So I'm going to use this for like my orange juice in the morning to bring it with me in the car. I, I'm super excited because that's a good juice size. Like just to give you a comparison, this is not water bottle size to me. I like giant water bottles. This is my regular water cup. And this is the bottle. So that's not, that's like two mouthfuls of water. Oh, I had it up. All right, really cool. Oh, now I can use the box for the wormies. Yes, this was a great decision. I am really smart sometimes. Okay, that's, that's good enough. All right, let's see what this fabric y thing is. is it a pillow? Oh, I think it's a pillowcase. And it's looking pretty nautical. Oh, it's soft. This is like an actual like bed pillowcase. Oh, what is this? There's like, it's definitely nautical. I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still, V.E. Schwab. There's a ship and a and a whale and like piratey things. Oh, it's shades of magic. I need to finish that series so bad. But look, look how great it is. I love this quote so much. Oh, it's too bad this doesn't match the color scheme in my room at all, or I would totally use it on my bed. I still might. Oh, it's so good. We're gonna put it over here for now. There we go. All right, here is our pin. We hunt the flame, the light in the darkness. And it's like the Taj Mahal. I don't know if it's actually the Taj Mahal, but it very much looks like the Taj Mahal. Uh, that, that, that's kind of a good view. Oh, that's better. Yeah. It's very nice. All right, look at that in a few minutes. We've got a sticker. We like stickers. Oh, that's cute. I don't know what it's from. It's, well, I'm just going to show it to you. He's cute. It's kind of like anime-ish and like the fire has a face and there's something in the background there. It almost looks like um, Bill's father's invention thing that he made. I don't know. We'll look that up in a second. But first, we're at the book. Come on, fingers. Hey. Oh, okay. All right, that's, that's very straightforward um, because the book is called We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. This is a cool cover. We've got a person, there's an archer right there, and then we've got like the city up here. It's looking very Indian, Arabian, something. All right, let's see. Let's see all of this. Okay. It, all right, let's start with this. Ooh, we've got a double-sided like character art print. We have Zephira on this side, looking pretty intimidating. Ooh, this one's more intimidating. This is Nasir. Look, he's got an eye scar. That's always intimidating. Um, and then we have the letter. And there's little camels. Uh, dear Owl Crate Reader, in your hands is a book. 
Thank you. A stack of pages bound between two covers, a sweeping fantasy infused with the spirit of ancient Arabia. But at its heart, We Hunt the Flame is a dream, a wish, and a horcrux of sorts. Yes. Each page is wrought with pieces of myself, from the culture of the world to the plights of the characters. More than these shards, I wanted to portray the world of Arabia as it is for the thousands of people who live there. Home. Kawa? I think. Q-A-H-W-A. I'm going to go with Kawa. Warm from Adala. Sand dunes stretching for as far as the eye can see. The language rich and rolling from the throat. Turbans tasseled and bound. Abayas glattering and lovely. Yet... Arawiza, Arawiza, like any other place, is rife with danger. Its once unified caliphates long dismantled, the threat of war looming in the horizon, and a dark forest sweeps closer with each dire day. From the shadows of this forest steps a girl, steadfast in her desires for a better life for her people. From the rooftops of the city comes a boy, bound to the blade he wields without money. Oh, sorry, without mercy. That makes more sense. <laughs> Uh, it is on a villainous island that their paths will cross, and the fate of Arawiza will change forever with you to witness. Peace unto you, squigglies. See the squigglies? Cool, let's see a little more. Just all this nice, like, scroll work. You, can't, uh, you can sort of see it there. All right, we've got people lived because she killed. People died because he lived. Ooh. Zephira, uh huh. Okay, so we're getting there. Zephira is the hunter, disguising herself as a man when she braves the cursed forest of the Ars to feed her people. Nasir is the prince of death, assassinating those foolish enough to defy his autocratic father, the Sultan. If Zephira is exposed as a girl, all of her achievements will be rejected. If Nasir displays his compassion, his father will punish him in the most brutal of ways. Both Zephira and Nasir are legends in the kingdom of of Arawaya. Oh, that's a Y? Okay, Arawaya. I'm sorry. Um, but neither wants to be. War is brewing, and the Ars sweeps closer with each passing day, engulfing the land in shadow. While Zephira embarks on a quest... I lost my place. On a quest to uncover a lost artifact that can restore magic to her suffering world and stop the Ars, Nasir is sent by the Sultan on a similar mission. Retrieve the artifact and kill the hunter. But an ancient evil stirs as their journey unfolds, and the prize they seek may pose a great a threat greater than either can imagine. Set in a richly detailed world inspired by ancient Arabia, We Hunt the Flame is a gripping debut of discovery, conquering fear, and taking identity into your own hands. Very cool. Here's our title page with the signature. Ow. There's, there's something I see. I want to see. Ooh, we've got a pretty map and a sea dragon. Look, see the sea dragon? Ooh, fancy. Let's take, I always like taking a quick, oh, cool. The chapters have these nice little scroll work headings. Very cool. Seven, eight chapters. Whoosh. Ooh, pretty. All right, so we've got gold on the spine and we've got a little embossed. Um, it's swords and an arrow. Uh, there you go. There, there you see it. Cool. I'm so excited. <coughs> so, are we thinking standalone or are we thinking series? I do not know. This is her first novel. Hafsa Faisal is an American Muslim and brand designer. Oh, cool. She's the founder of Icy Designs, where she creates websites for authors and beauteous goodies for everyone else. That's a great sentence. When she's not writing, she can be found dreaming up her next design, deciding between Assassin's Creed and Skyrim, or traversing the world. Born in Florida and raised in California, she now resides in Texas with her family and a library of books waiting to be devoured. We Hunt the Flame is her first novel. Yay! Very cool. I am excited. All right, next. How did I get trash? We've got... Little thing. Let's see what the um, original cover looks like. Oh, I like ours. I like this one. It makes it more mysterious. The original one kind of, it's like aggressive almost. 
feel like I'm in Schitt's Creek and, and the sister, I can't think of her name right now. Like, it's almost like it's aggressive, like, ew. Anyway, uh, so this is the Owl Crate one that we have, it's the silver, and then the original is this gold. I mean, it's still pretty, don't get me wrong, but I think the cooler silver is better, in my opinion. Um, and that's really all they changed. But if you look at it, because it's gold, and that's not showing up very well, but the gold one is kind of harsh and it pops the yellows a lot more than the silver does. So, I mean, it's still cool, but I like this one better. Personally, so let's see. Does this tell me? Nope. All right. Okay. Let's see what the creators were, who the creators were. All right. Spoilers. We have, oh, the sticker. That's why I didn't know it. It's from Howl's Moving Castle. I'm sorry. I have not seen it. I know everybody loves it. I just have not seen it. Um, or read the book. I didn't know it was a book too. So this is a sticker designed by Naomi Lord. Um, and it's Sophie and the wizard, I guess, in his moving castle. I think that's what's in the background. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Um, the sleep mask is wonderful. And it is, um, night court, night court, night court. Isn't that throne of glass? Throne of glass? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, it's designed by the Bookworm Boutique. Oh, Court of Mist and Fury. Okay. Right author, wrong series. I was close. Okay. Okay. Um, don't leave home without your handy dandy. It doesn't say dandy. Passport wallet featuring a quote from The Hobbit and designed by Kit Kronk Studios. I love this thing. I'm so excited to go on a trip and use that. Um, seeking Fallen Stars, be on the wall. Don't forget to take your exclusive water bottle with you on your journey. Inspired by Stardust by Neil Gaiman and designed by the very talented KDP Letters. I'm so excited. There is no one who loves adventure more than Lila Bard. Stella bookish art designed this colorful and fun pillowcase inspired by this beloved character from A Darker Shade of Magic. Once again, Stella bookish art designing things I love with quotes I love. It's so beautiful. Oh. Okay, um, and then it goes into the book and the artwork for the book um, is designed by artist ARZ28 on Instagram. So at ARZ28 on Instagram. And the, the enamel pin um, was designed by the author of We Hunt the Flame through her design company, Icy Designs. That's really cool. Um, so it's designed by the author. So, you know, it's a perfect representation of her book. That is really cool. I am excited. All right. Favorite things. All of it. I mean, I can't say that this is my favorite thing because I don't know Howl's Moving Castle, but like, love it. Love these and this. And just, this is a great box this month very good box. They just keep getting better and putting greater things in these boxes. So let's end by looking at things for next month. <gasps> Ooh, <coughs> the theme of the June box is libraries of wonder. The theme is libraries of wonder. Look, every June box will include exclusive coffee from Bookbow. Like Bookbow, the sleeves? Like the book sleeves? Make coffee? I don't drink coffee, but that's okay. I think I'd rather have a book bow. I don't know. I'm just confused by book bow and coffee because book bows are the things that you put the books in, right? Am I going crazy? All right, whatever. Um, all right, sounds like my roommate's gonna get coffee next month. That's cool, but I'm really excited about this Libraries of Wonder theme. I have no idea the book could be. Although I haven't been paying attention to books that are supposed to be coming out. So that's why I'm constantly surprised. I'm like, oh, I've never heard of this. I, I just haven't been paying attention to new releases unless it's like authors that I follow. So anyway, thank you for watching this video, this live unboxing thing. Um, it's been so long since I've been in front of the camera because I've been busy moving. Um, 
yeah, so thank you for watching. Let me know what your favorite thing in the box is. If I had to pick one, I think I'd go with the passport thing. This is just so great. And it's a great size. It'll fit in any bag. And like, it's got so many uses. It's durable. It's water resistant. This is this is just going to be wonderful for me. It really is. I'm so excited. We're booking a trip tomorrow for July. So this is going to get used in July. So excited. All right. Anyway, I've, I'm rambling on. Um, let me know what your favorite thing is. Let me know if you've read We Hunt the Flame yet um, or if you're planning to. I'm excited about it. I got to finish Throne of Glass and then I might try jump into that because um, I really need to read these books as I get them. Oh, all right. I have nothing else to say. I'm, I'm going to stop repeating myself. I hope you have a wonderful night and have a great weekend. And I will see you at some point. Bye.